Welcome to the Asri Estate in Holmby Hills. The home boasts 17 bedrooms, 25 baths, and encompasses 30,000 square feet. We're currently on the market at $85 million. The home was built by iconic California architect Paul R. Williams in 1939. And it stands as his largest masterpiece. Tucked away just off of the iconic Sunset Boulevard, you're greeted by the Grand Motor Court, which still retains original design elements from 1939. We're greeted by these beautiful pillars outside of the grand entrance, which is quintessential Georgian colonial revival, which was Paul Williams' signature style of architecture. And if you think this entry is impressive, wait till you see inside. As we enter the home, you can see an expanded version of the original Paul R. Williams staircase. This staircase is a true signature Paul Williams design element. Anyone that would walk into the original house would immediately recognize that it is his design. In addition to the staircase, the owners added a very bold element as you come into the foyer. A grand two-story Swarovski chandelier anchors the space with over 150,000 crystals. It really is an iconic moment as you approach. This beautiful foyer table actually found its way here by mistake. It was custom designed for one of the owner's stores and was brought here by chance. The owner loved it so much that they ended up incorporating it into the design of the entrance hall. Once you arrive in the formal living room, you're going to see that the scale is truly grand. The formal living room is flanked by two seating areas. And in addition, one of the most important trademarks of the design is this gorgeous picture window, which looks out to the fire pit, the pool, and then the iconic guest house and pool pavilion beyond. And then right behind me is one of the most whimsical and beautiful rooms in the home, which is the family room. This room is truly the most whimsical in the estate. The ceiling is mirrored, and then on top of that, they added a gorgeous art installation by Philippe Stark. It looks like there are silver vines growing throughout the room, and it actually spans the entire length and width of the area. Behind me is a fireplace. Paul Williams was known for his fireplaces. Almost every room is anchored by one. Beyond that is the bar lounge. We have a fireplace again, seating enclaves, and then a beautifully designed wet bar. As we can see, this space was always the bar area. What was most important to them is to program the floor plan as it had been with Paul Williams. However, to add a more contemporary scale and functionality to each room. We're now in the elegant and large scale dining room. The room is sheathed in silver leaf, including ceilings and walls. In addition to that, you have another really beautiful fireplace. Mrs. Azria actually found an antique door and turned it into a beautiful table. This table is quite large and anchors the entire room. And the room is flanked by French doors, which lead out to the grounds. It is truly the perfect flow for entertaining and family gatherings. In addition, right beyond that door is a full-scale butler's pantry, which leads you into the kitchen. As we walk in from the butler's pantry into the kitchen, you're going to see that it has two large islands, one of which is a breakfast bar, the other one is for preparation. However, the most fun and I think special element of this kitchen is the walk-in refrigerator freezer. The first of the 17 bedrooms can be found just beyond the kitchen. There are sleeping quarters, a huge closet, bath. Your guests will never want to leave. Mick will now take you upstairs to show you the bedrooms of the east and west wing. So the primary suite encompasses the entire east wing of the property. You have two separate bathrooms, primary lounge, an own in-suite office, and of course, the primary bedroom. What I love about this room is it really opens up to the entire backyard. Paul Williams was famous for really captivating all the views in the property. So as you can see, you look down into the pool house, the gorgeous lawn, views into Century City and the Bel Air. But I would have to say probably the most impressive piece of the primary suite are the closets. Come check it out. 
What's great about the primary suite is you have these two expansive closets, plenty of storage throughout. The owners of the property, Max and Luba Azria, obviously super famous in the fashion industry, were probably inspired to build something out that was quite impressive to hang their gowns. And as equally impressive as the closets, come check out the primary bathroom. So absolutely stunning primary bathroom. You have these full slabs of green onyx marble throughout anchored by this fireplace. Beautiful separate soaking tub here, looking out into the greenery, absolutely beautiful. And now we're in arguably my favorite room in the entire house. This entire separate structure was also constructed by Paul Williams and the second floor encompasses the library. It's a domed golden leaf ceiling with a Tiffany blue chandelier, absolutely gorgeous. You have the entertainment center here for poker nights. You've got an actual office space with a beautiful rotunda looking out to the city. Got a great media center. And for those late night poker nights, you have a hidden door to the outside. Come take a look. So this house is filled with little secrets and tricks. This is one of my favorites. For the late night poker nights, the myth is when the wives came home, the husbands didn't want them to know they were gambling late, they'd have a secret door to the outside to sneak out. So in this completely detached separate structure, underneath we have a magnificent movie theater that Tomer's gonna show you. As we head into the Marquee Theater, we actually pass a full concession stand. There's a full bar of candy, popcorn, and additional powder room here, and then we're gonna head into the movie theater. Here we are in one of the most marquee theaters in Los Angeles. It was designed originally by Sidney Sheldon, who was the previous owner of the home, and he hosted some of the most epic screenings in Hollywood. The Azrias took the space and really contemporized it. They added silver leaf on the ceilings, beautiful velvet curtains, and then some really fun and colorful banquettes. In addition, you have two powder rooms within the theater, plus probably the best feature is you have a caterer's kitchen just beyond the screen, preparing snacks, grilled cheese, popcorn, right at your convenience. So as we enter the backyard, we have this gorgeous vantage point of the backside of the home here. Paul Williams was coined as creating the Hollywood Regency style, which is really a confluence of Mediterranean, European, and Georgian colonial revival influences within his architecture. And as you can see, it really does stand the test of time. So we're now at the Azria Pool House. As we can see, it's quite reminiscent of the original Paul Williams design. In the left, we've got a bedroom and bath. On the right, we've got the most spectacular hammam and day spa. Our owners did a really beautifully elaborate job into making it feel like a resort. It truly feels like you're in one of the Greek Isles. Additionally, they added a kitchenette bar area, and then probably the most important part is the hammam and day spa. The hammam is truly a destination in and of itself. The room is sheathed in marble. There is a spa-like bath with steam shower, dry sauna. There's a soaking tub. It is one of the most inspirational spots in Los Angeles. And then of course, everything opens up with doors out to the pool for indoor and outdoor enjoyment. The Azria Estate is filled with fun and exciting hidden little nooks and crannies. This has to be one of my favorites. You have this sort of floating tea garden right off of the koi pond here. You can come sit here, relax, meditate, feel completely removed from the city. And this is really the entrance to this beautiful hidden Japanese garden. So another fantastic feature of the property, you have this hidden Japanese garden. You have your own Zen garden with a koi pond and bridge. You have a great little kitchenette here if you want to come down and have some sushi and sake. And you have this beautiful waterfall that comes down with this gorgeous high-end bamboo, just like you're in Kyoto. And you have this perfect area here for a potential alfresco dining option, beautiful cafe lights underneath the fire pit, great limestone flooring throughout, and you really just feel inundated with the nature and serenity behind you. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on this tour of the Asri Estate, a true pedigree property in the heart of Holmby Hills, Paul R. Williams' biggest creation to date. 17 bedrooms, 25 bathrooms, multiple gardens, pool, tennis court. I mean, this place truly does have it all. And all this can be yours for $85 million. Thanks again for joining us. <laughs>